All right, let's talk about Desmond Ritter, who, you know, I kind of made a video last week saying that, you know, and kind of how I feel about Desmond Ritter all year has been, he's actually done a pretty good job at running the Falcons offense, like on a per play basis, kind of like 90 to 95% of plays. He's actually doing a pretty good job. It's just like the other plays, he's usually doing a awful job. He'll turn the ball over. He'll make, you know, game changing mistakes. And that's usually what's costing the Falcons. This game, it was just bad. I mean, that's just how I view it. I mean, there were the potential game changing mistakes, stuff like this where the concept itself is actually relatively simple. The way it works is it's going to be zone coverage. You have, uh, you know, several receiver, one receiver running deep down the field to over the middle route is typically what you want to throw to. But if none of that gets open, you do have a check down to Bijan Robinson uh, towards the bottom of the screen, towards the offense's right on this third down and 11. So again, third down and 11. The check down's probably not going to do much, but, you know, better to punt the ball from the 40-yard line than from the uh, 33. So, you know, it, it's an option. So... Uh, you're going to see that Desmond Ritter takes the snap. He looks down the field, doesn't love what he, he sees. And to be honest, this is kind of when issues can arise. When you can get situations like what, you know, uh, Carolina has here, getting rid of the first option, forcing Ritter to have to make decisions. This is where you're happy if you're a, a defensive team. Because Bijan Robinson, you can see he's not really open. You know, Brian Burns is getting ready to jump that route if uh, Ritter wants to throw it to him. But watch Ritter on his play and watch how quick he goes from looking at B. John Robinson to throwing to B. John Robinson. I mean, as you see, it's almost instant. I mean, that's practically a no look pass. I mean, it technically was a look pass. He looked over, but he looked over and then threw right away just to see where Bijan was. He wasn't reading if that was open or not, which again, on a third down and 11, I mean, the risk reward there of a check down is totally not worth the potential pick six. That could have been a pick six by Brian Burns. Uh, Ritter got away with one. Again, t a tough play by Brian Burns. I'm not saying he should have gotten the pick six or anything like that. And, you know, maybe it wouldn't have been a pick six, maybe just some yards. But again, the way this game went, if you gave Carolina seven points, it, you know, you wouldn't have even had a chance late in the game, let alone, uh, you know, only co you know, co it coming down to a final field goal. And also stuff like this. And like, listen, I should mention, conditions were awful in this game. And like, these are two offenses that kind of struggle anyway. They don't need added hurdles. They don't. At the same time, though, tough conditions. That obviously played a factor. But one thing that was surprising is how little confidence they have in Ritter at this point. Maybe surprising isn't even the right word. It actually kind of makes sense. But I mean, it's just, it's telling is the word. Uh, it's very telling how they do not put the ball in Ritter's hands. Third down and nine here. They're just going to run a halfback screen. As you see, I mean, Ritter runs this play, and not only uh, is this, you know, the Falcons not uh, trusting Ritter, the Panthers are aware of that. The Panthers know that the Falcons don't trust Ritter. Look at the linebackers all over this going towards B. John Robinson. You have also defensive linemen trying to get in the way of the screen pass. Ritter actually does the right thing on that play, throws it into the dirt. That's what he should have done. That's, you know, again, what he should have done earlier on that last play, but it's like, Again, it's kind of a, to paint the bigger picture, they just don't trust him. Heading over here, another great example. This is third and seven right here. Third and seven. They Now, I would, you know, mention that I do wonder if uh, going for it on fourth down was in the cards here. But as you see, they're going to run the football and end up, you know, uh, makes matters worse. They don't gain any yards and then just punt the ball away. Um, you know, to me, I, I do wonder if, you know, maybe they thought, hey, let's, hopefully we'll get the first down on third and seven, but even if we only gain four yards or so, like, at least we can then go for it on fourth and three, but that's not a good idea. You should be throwing the ball in that situation, probably, you know, on second and seven, it's usually not a good idea to run the ball, so if that, if you're going four down territory, usually not a good idea to run the ball on third and seven, but also that argument really only works if you're going up against a front that is not expecting to run. Again, Carolina, is ready for this. So it's not only are they taking the ball out of Ritter's hands, but the opposing team is ready for them to take the ball out of uh, Ritter's hands. A play like this is a tough one too, where it's going to be a third down and eight situation zone coverage. And like these are the ones just like you want to hit on these if you're the Falcons. You really do. They have a concept designed to hopefully get a player open. The way it works is you have one receiver running a deeper route, going to hopefully get the corner to run further over the middle, and then the other route, the one that I've circled in white, that's the one that Ritter is going to eventually look towards. Watch as when Ritter takes the snap, you're going to see him, uh, you know, eventually look down the field, and I mean, there's a window. There just, there is. There's a window here, and again, you know, uh, goes without saying, 
tough conditions, all of that stuff. But as you see, I mean, this is just, it's its a miss. Uh, I believe that was Van Jefferson he was trying to get the ball to. Uh, just, you know, far too low and not able to get the ball down the field and be able to pick up what would have been a huge play. I mean, that could have been a touchdown, honestly. Uh, so go from having a touchdown to having no shot uh, and having to, you know, give the ball back to Carolina. That's just a tough situation. But going over here, I mean, this is the one we have to talk about, right? Because even with all of that, even with all of those other not great plays, that's fine. You know, it, it, whatever. It, it happens. We know Desmond Ritter isn't a superstar. We're not expecting him to be. He's having a bad game. It is what it is. You're okay. I mean, you still have a great chance at winning the division. This situation, it's a designed run to the offense's left. You're up, already up a point, seven and a half minutes left. And by the way, I, I believe I said designed run, more of a designed rollout uh, is what this play actually is. But uh, yeah, moving on. Well, first, you're going to see Ritter do what Ritter does well, which is move. I mean, he's been a very, very good with his legs so far. He throws off balance and throws directly to a Carolina player's uh, player uh, on you know the field here and I paused it right here I, I want to see the all 22 and try to look at what he's trying to do here but it looks like there's another panther ready to intercept it if that first one did not and I also don't think this throw was high enough to get over and hit the receiver who was in the area so I don't know if it was a Kyle Pitts thing maybe he thought Kyle Pitts was going to go one way and he didn't that's my guess actually I think Kyle Pitts he thought Kyle Pitts was going to stop Kyle Pitts ran a little bit further towards the bottom of the screen that's what I am guessing but that's just a complete guess and if that is the case it's like man you can't make that blunder there you just can't you can't turn the ball over there you just can't turn the ball over in that spot you a field goal helps you tremendously Panthers haven't gotten the ball into the end zone all day and while they did get inside the five the that whole situation changes it you know once the Falcons got to the point where they realized the Panthers were in field goal range the Panthers were then just trying to bleed the clock and you know uh, it, it just became a whole different situation uh, if the Panthers had to score a touchdown maybe you're able to stop them earlier we just don't know but either way, I mean, listen, uh, it just it is what it is. Ritter doesn't seem like he's the guy. Uh, you know, Ritter does some nice things for the Falcons, and the Falcons aren't dead yet. But this put them really in the hole to the point where you know they're playing the Colts next week. That was kind of a game where they didn't have to win. That was kind of like, hey, you can go three and one and lose to the Colts, and you're okay. Kind of feels like. They have to beat the Colts, Bears, and Saints down the stretch to make the postseason. Kind of feels like that's what they have to do. If they do that, I still think they get in. And I don't think that's impossible, but it's just not looking likely right now. So, yeah, that's just kind of what I thought about all of that. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.